let's look now on a spline. So you can access splines from the left navigation bar. And you notice again we have an error, so we can click and we can preview to create already predefined road, or you can create the spline. But before we creating spline, let's create a simple terrain. We'll go high field standard terrain. Let's create it right there. Let's move just slightly out. And we'll take our camera and position slightly above. So this is will be our test terrain. And we can see how this spline will affect the terrain. Okay, next we'll go create a normal spline, not road. So we'll just click once. And you notice right here we have our spline editor open. And also the pen tool is up here. Pen tool will showing in all windows so you can modify or you can draw spline directly. I'm going to use a top view and I'm going from outside right here just started and I'm going to create one line and go out. Okay so right here I draw my spline. You notice also in a world browser for every time when we created a new point we have a two, we have a point, and we also have a normals for this point. So it's a vector based kind of spline. By default, because no terrain or road, no effect was applied, we don't have it any tabs or active, but we have these tools on top navigation, which is have our pen drawing tool. Next, we have our selector for the points. So we can select the points with this tool and modify it, adjust them. Next, we also have it, the alignment and we have it if we want to brook point. We also have it close spline and we'll use this in a second when we created area population. We'll look on this in a second. So next, we also have it find the path and this is work if you select several points for example and we can go ahead and um, from spline editor we can find and it will showing us find path okay the next we also have it's a resemble spline and that is um, add additional points on all the spline base it on what resolution we need between two points if we're creating 20 no one or 22 almost meters, that will be a lot of points all over. So it will be very close. But again, in this case, if you want it, have it very smooth and more precision, you want to create more points. Because this currently is, as a demo, I don't want to have too many points. So I will just leave it as default without resampling. Okay, then next we have the two icons, one or three options it is create ecosystem geometry terrain effect we also have it um, increased or decreased double quality of the spline and import spline from a vector based other application maybe you create in adobe illustrator or other ones so you can import that spline and use it as your path so let's select um, first effect on the terrain before we do this you can see on the side as I was drawing points points was creating on the terrain so it's automatical was adjust the height of my uh, spline based on the height of the terrain so of course now if we're going and enable just you need to click to enable this terrain effect tab by the way if you click second time it will be disabling so now we will going to apply influence on the this terrain you can have multiple terrains and you can select all terrains you want to influence so let's go ahead and we select the terrain number one we have only one terrain you notice as we click some options right here was applied some of them does not look good it just points try to reach and it's work because of the amplitude they will go and click a bit high some areas and we need to work on amplitude and width width it will create it width is affecting side and amplitude how high we're going so if we're putting amplitude of 20 you can see right here we increase our amplitude of this so let's take down and increase width 
a little bit higher. Okay, so you'll notice we have a little bit wider effect, but we still, because our resolution is not that high, we still have a couple problems. Sometimes it does help if you're going and um, select. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll just select one point. So, like for example, right here. And we can take this point, just put it, clip it down. adjusting other one so we can bring a little bit more closer okay and in this case smooth out I would say sometimes you need to work a little bit closer to with the resolution so we can increase and of course if you need it you can add additional points or draw additional splines well, you know what, let me bring this one just slightly closer, so we have a little bit better looking spline. And right here you can see we already created. One thing about effect on the terrain, you'll notice as we're going with our spline, if a spline located below terrain, it will create kind of cave in or path, and if we're going a little bit above, it will grow up um, point. Of course, if we have it too high, we will have it some problems when we will saw those lines creating, or the same effect if we're going deeper. You can use it, this option to create it, a reverse, create um, roads or some other effect, and affect the terrain. Overall, let's look what we have it on our terrain. You saw the list of influence where we select the what terrains we want to influence with our spline. You can infect more than one terrain. We have a size and type where we have it width, we have an amplitude, how high, we also have it access to the filter. So for example, we can go and preload it. Let's go for example, just take this filter and you can see now as is affecting the steps creating slightly right here. And also this is again, this is well affecting width or our road and amplitude, how high it's going. So we can select a different and you'll notice during all it will change this amplitude as well. Okay, we can always go ahead and reset those filters to the plane. Okay, we can also go and edit if you need it. Just take one point and bring this to the top. So you have the multiple options you can work with the terrain. Um, as well with the shape, currently shape, it's meaning we have it smooth and going up. Sometimes you maybe want to create a little bit more kind of bank on a river, so we maybe take side so just slightly down. One thing when you work with the um, splines, pay attention to our numbers, so the zero it's a level ground level so minus one we're going down so this is actually we're digging way below and one is the highest point so we don't want to go below zero at this point we want to just keep it slightly above otherwise we'll just go with the terrain so we'll have it size done and we'll just increase both of the sizes this shape what do you see right here it's working very well for the reverse so we have a little bit banks and side on the middle let's go click ok and we can also increase width we'll have a little bit wider view on that okay let's close it for now we'll take our camera let's go select to render to screen and i want to click on preview okay in preview mode you can see right here we have already the sides as we did and it's going a little bit up. So the shape as we provide it is applied. Okay, let's go ahead and open again our spline editor. Okay, and uh, next tutorial, so let's look on the road, on the geometry, and on the ecosystem.